I'd love to mention system leadership uh, or systemic leadership. I think that's, um, to me, that's a really, really important um, um, line of thought that takes into account um, a broad perspective of systems and uh, where leadership, um, how leadership can be impactful in a system where everything is un interconnected, where consequences are unknowable, uh, where but but there's one thing you can be sure of is that every action has unintended consequences, um, and um, so that that kind of uh, that line of thought is to me really uh, important. And in the in my own reflection on leadership, I've tried to. Uh, ref to to establish, I wouldn't call it a model because, as you said, it boxes things too much, and I think it's a it's a too aggressive form of simplification. Uh, but I've tried instead to uh, offer uh, pathways. So there's three pathways. I am offering for anybody uh, interested in uh, reflecting on on a on a better and more systemic kind of leadership. The first pathway is one of freedom. It's um, it's about injecting more freedom into the system rather than uh, reducing freedom. Very often, freedom is seen as um, a, a danger. A, yeah. Something that brings chaos, you know, and something that is uh, that has to be reduced to the minimum, uh, because uh, uh, an orderly system is still seen by many as the best system, right? And um, in my opinion, considering the the era we are in. Uh, and how how change uh, uh, is bombarding us, you know, from everywhere and every day, uh, you can't look and forward to an orderly system because to to an orderly system, change is a, a, a is a is a problem, right? So instead, we need to create a system that is much more at ease with freedom, with liberty, with innovation, with taking initiatives. And it starts with oneself. It starts with liberating oneself from the dominant patterns, from um, Oh, that's how we do it here, you know, from the, the kind of uh, normative uh, and systemic culture you're in when you enter in, in an organization. So that's the first pathway. The second pathway is a pathway of equality. Uh, I think of current systems are, are dominance systems, as Charles mentioned. Uh, they are based on domination, on hoarding you know, power to the benefit of a few, and, and on very unequal relationships. And um, this is not serving the collective. This is not serving at all the collective anymore. Maybe it worked in the past with, you know, when most of the workforce was illiterate uh, and you had to rely on a few, you know, experts who knew better. Now in the knowledge or even post-knowledge economy, this doesn't work anymore. So mm -hmm. we need to create um, or to, to, yeah, to create leadership systems that are based on equal relationships, on, on relationships between equals. And to me, the, the great opportunity here is networks. So networks as technology, but also as organization, as organizing principles. Nice. Okay. Um, and finally, the third pathway, and I, I think they go together, is um, a pathway of community. So community building uh, does not happen from the top. I don't think you can, you know, force a, or cascade a community. A community stems from joint activism in the service of a shared cause. So I think the mechanics, the 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 the, the patterns, the the tools. The, uh, the history of activism should be uh, a source of inspiration for leadership today in order to um, enable this uh, possibility of activism in the workplace, in, in the service of a, of a shared cause, of a truly shared cause. Okay. And uh, all together, so of course you, you, you recognize the pattern here, um, uh, freedom, equality, community, uh, 
to me is uh, possibly, it, it's not a model, uh, but it's uh, possibly what can help people ref, um, evolve their leadership towards something that is much more collective, relational, um, and um, that, is, that is much more open to emotional connection rather than purely, you know, rational, uh, expert, knowledge-based uh, kind of relationship. So you call that the systemic leadership, if you had to summarize. Yes. Yes.